Hiya, this is the last um, lesson within this uh, forces pack. It's quite a, a nice, quick, easy one. As long as you're happy that instead of X for like, so like a coordinate, I use I. Now I is a unit vector. It's like just one unit, just like on a set of axes. But instead of using the word X, I use I. Whoops, I just wrote X then. Dozy. Now with a vector, I either do it emboldened or I underline it like that. So there, going that way, would be a J there. Okay, so they're unit vectors in each direction. So if you look, uh, oh. so here we go. So it says, describe forces using a column vector or unit vectors. So if you think about a set of coordinates, 3, 4, that's set to the origin. So you go 3 across and 4 up. And there it is. Now I can have a vector that joins the origin to there and that could be either done as a column vector three across four up if i call it vector a so i'm underlining it so vector a is there that's as a column vector or as components now i always tend to shift to column vectors I'll do the working and then if it was started off as a in components then i put it back as components just because it takes up less room and it's easier. So in components, it's 3 across, so that's 3i, and it's 4 up, 4j. There. Right, so that's what that bit there says here. Um, the magnitude is its length. So the length of this vector, I would just use Pythagoras. Now... For the direction, we use the inverse tan of what's going up divided by what's going across. Sometimes, though, just to confuse you, instead of using tan to the minus 1, they say arc tan. So if you see that, it just means tan to the minus 1. They do it with sine and cos every so often. So instead of sine to the minus 1, like inverse sine, or cos to the minus 1, inverse cos, they say arc sine or arc cos. Right, so let's have a look at this one then. So you've got a force F. Now this is telling you it's going 7 left and 5 up. So from here it went 7 left and 5 up. So my vector goes from the start point to the end point. So that's my vector F there. Calculate the magnitude. So the magnitude... Now to show the magnitude, what I do is I use the the straight brackets to show the magnitude. So that just tells you that's the magnitude. But I'm just doing Pythagoras. So it's minus 7 squared plus 5 squared. So that's 49 plus 25, which is 74. So that's root 74. Uh, the completed pack gives a value of 8.60 newtons to 3 sig fig, because it wants 3 sig fig there. Right, now then, thinking about the direction. The direction we normally take from the positive part of the x, di x axis or the y axis. So if you imagine, if I put like a set of, like an origin there, what I actually want is that angle. But from my triangle, I can get this one and then just do 180, take it away. So just think about which way it's going. If it was plus 7 and plus 5, it's fine. The angle would just be the angle you wanted. So, looking at that triangle, if I call that theta... So tan theta would be the opposite, which is 5, the y value, and the x value, which is 7. So theta would be the inverse tan. Like I say, you could use arc tan of that, which to 3 sig fig is 35.5 degrees according to the, the book. But that's not 
what I want. I want the 180. So the actual direction will be 180 minus 35.5. So it'll be 144.5 degrees from the horizontal. But like I say, you tend to go from the positive x direction, the positive y direction. So have a look at this example then. So two forces this time. Now I can draw a picture. If you did physics, you'd actually draw a scaled picture. Uh, and then you can work out the resultant just by measuring. Um, we can do a similar thing, but we'll have a look. Right, so the first one, F1, is four across and seven up. So if I start from here, four across, seven up. So that's my first force going in there, F1. Now what I do is I join the forces onto each other. So my second force starts where my first force ended. So this one's minus five, so it goes across here. And then three up, there. So that's minus five, and that's three up. So that one goes that way, and that's force two. There. My resultant force starts at the start of the first one and ends at the end of the last one. You might have like ten forces. It might be a really, really like crazy looking picture. It might go like like that. But you always just join up from the start of the first to the end of the last one. So that there would be your resultant velocity, your resultant vector there. Uh, and we'll call that, find the magnitude, oh, it's calling it F, isn't it? So we'll call that F. So if you look at that, kind of just geometrically, I went four to the right, five to the left. So I've actually gone one left. Going up, I've gone up seven, and then I've gone up three. So I can add them together. So my force, my total force, will be the force of one plus the force of two. Now, like I said, I like to put these in columns. So four, seven, minus five, three. So my total force is just adding four, seven, and minus five, three. So all I do is just add the top line, so that's minus one, then add the bottom line, which is ten. Technically, because my question started off in component form, I should really put it in component form. Right, now it wants the magnitude, so if I just do Pythagoras, remember the modular sign, that's what you use to, to show that you're doing Pythagoras with a vector. So that's going to give me root 101. I can do that in my head then. It's good, isn't it? Which is roughly to 3 sig fig 10.0 newtons to 3 sig fig. Uh, wants the, oh, it wants the angle it makes with the horizontal. So if you think about it, the horizontal is there. So I want that angle there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I've got like a little triangle, which is one across, ten up. I'm going to work out that angle, theta, and then do that part to it. So I've got tan theta is ten over one. So that's the inverse tan of ten over one, or arc tan. That gives you eighty-four point three degrees, roughly, from the count from from what the completed pack says. And then the angle we want, or the direction we want, boing, is 180 minus 84.3. So that's 95.7 degrees from the horizontal. There. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go on to a second video. Right, I'll stop there.